I'm very excited about the recent work reported by John Crispino at Northwestern University and the commentary which followed by Shai Israeli from the Sheba Medical Center in Tel Aviv. The two scientists were supported by the foundation in a very unique collaboration to study a rare form of leukemia in a rare congenital disorder. The congenital disorder is Down syndrome and the form of leukemia is called AMKL. Why study such a rare situation? Well, because that's when you gain insight into a bigger picture. Over the few years, the two of them have now reported four specific genes that are located on the chromosome that is missing, or at least so they're reduced in number, these genes, and can now be associated with the cause of this form of leukemia. Uh, these four genes have important roles in the developing of the blood system. They give us an idea of, in general, what's important in all leukemias. They also give us the opportunity to develop very specific drugs to attack the deficiencies due to these, the gene loss. This is the mission of the foundation, to identify the clues that make something become malignant and how to use those clues to make them into an effective treatment. The uh, wide picture of this is that these genes are also unregulated in common forms of cancer. For example, one of them is the most abnormally expressed gene in prostate cancer. So how does one explain why this could occur in prostate cancer and the opposite occurs in this rare form of leukemia? Interestingly, children with Down syndromes do become adults. And although they have a higher incidence of leukemia as children, they have a much lower incidence of cancer in general when they grow up, suggesting that there's a balance in this set of genes that can protect against cancer as an adult, but when they're not there as a child, there's a high risk of leukemia. Now that's really, really an exciting thought, isn't it?